So what's good party people? My name is Ice Assassin and in today's video I'm going to be giving my review on the Suicide Squad movie. And I have to say it's really good. It's really good. Way better than what we got back in 2016. So yeah, it was really good. Oh, there's going to be some spoilers up ahead. So if you guys are watching this and haven't seen the movie yet, you better get the fuck out of here and watch that. Because spoilers are about to happen. Anyway, here comes the spoilers. So... I really loved the movie. I really loved it, especially the first part of the movie, like half of the Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad members. You know, like Javelin, Captain Boomerang, Manga, Weasel, Blackguard, everyone else. It was so funny when Weasel died already in the first already, like, cause he couldn't fucking swim, and this shit just hit the fan real fucking quick with, with everyone dying left and right, like. Holy shit. Bro, TDK. Oh my god. <laughs> TDK was fucking hilarious. He just... His power is just... He can rip apart his arms and legs. That's it. Like, that's it. That's all he does. Just removes his arms and legs. And then he got killed already, too. Oh my god. That shit was funny. But then, but that was just the first thing. The second team is with King Shard, Bloodspore, Polka Dot Man, and Ratcatcher, too. Which, by the way, I loved Blood Sports Helmet. It looks so fucking sick. But yeah, uh, later on in the movie, I like this was really good. This was a really good movie. The char the character development was great too, and the connection with one another it was it was great. I really enjoyed it. Like it's like it. it how should I? I don't know how to say this. It's they treat they there were more they were. They were more like, they were more like friends. Like they felt like they they were like, I don't know how to say that. I can't. I'm stupid. I can't think of anything. But it was it was good. It was good. The connect the connection with the characters, you know, with everyone, you know, and King Shark and Bloodsport and everyone else. It's like it was great. Cause in the 2016 version, it's like they didn't like. It's like they didn't really like connect with one another. I felt like they they had to like you know, like just be friendly to one another until the job was done. But in this one, it's like they really connected like with like with family stuff and then with friendships and stuff and shit and stuff like that. It's like that. Oh my! And the funny part is in the funny part like in the last bit of the movie where 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 Mit Milton died. In the movie, so it's like <laughs> Pokemon Man was like freaking out. It was like they killed Milton, and then and then Bloodsport was like, "Wait, Milton was with us the whole time." <laughs> and they were like arguing, like, "Yes, he was with us the whole time." And it's like, <laughs> it was real funny. Like the care, I love the characters, even the ones that died already. Like you could already like, even though they were like a throwaway gag or anything, I really enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoy it. It was way better than 2016. I'll, I'll say again, I'll say again. This movie was way better than the 2016 one. It's like... That movie, that movie was trash. The 2016 version was fucking trash. Like, it was so trash. But this one, this movie... Just amazing. Yeah, great characters, great comedy. Starro being like the main villain. It was a it was amazing touch. It was amazing touch to the movie. Superman was actually gonna be in the movie, but they had to throw that idea out. It was just an idea that James Gunn made before the movie even came out. Yeah, so it was like that. But yeah, so my review on the Suicide Squad movie, I would give it um, I give it a 90% because the characters were great, the comedy was great, but there were some characters that just did, like, nothing. Like, they were just there for some reason, for out of nowhere. You know, like, King, like, in the part, like, in King, like, in the scene where King Shark goes on top of, like, climbs on Starro and just starts eating him, and then Starro just, like, throws King Shark out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, it's like King Shark did, was there, like, eh. He was just there, but I, but even though if he was, even though he was just there, out, like, for no reason, he was still a good character, 
throughout the movie and everything else. So, yeah, I would get... So, yeah, anyways, my review of the Suicide Squad movie would be a 90%. It was good. It was really good. There was some stuff I... There was some stuff I would talk... There was, uh... Shit, I don't know how to say this. Uh... There was some stuff that I would, like, put in, like, you know... Like, I wanted to see, like, Captain Boomerang and Blackguard live a little longer and stuff like that. And probably Weasel, too. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, that's my review. That's my review of the Suicide Squad movie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you take your hidden blade and stab the like button in the neck. Also, if you like the content that I do, make sure you stab the subscribe button in the neck. Also, if you want to get notified whenever I live stream or upload, make sure you stab the bell in the neck. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.